Um, right now I'm teaching Survey of Musical Masterworks, which is basically a history of Western classical music or emphasizing important pieces in different periods, and non-Western music. Even though some of the stuff he says is random, and so, in a lot of ways it was kind of weirdly connected. So there's definitely been times where I've like closed my ears, like, Daddy, I don't want to hear it. Okay, that guy that puts his feces in a jar, great, and they just explode it, or, you know, or something like, that's gross, we're eating. I hate that word feces, by the way. It's so stupid. What feces? Can we just say shit or excrement? I like to, when I have to be, you know, a, a genteel about it, I say excrement. A feces is such a bizarre word. Where does that word come from? I sometimes get accused of being weird or teaching a weird course. Uh, shit on stage and eat it. And then throw some of it at the Gigi Allen. No, what did you say? What did you, he, he would shit on stage and eat it. Shit on stage? Right. And then throw some deal. And people would lust it. Oh, yeah. All right. So, yeah, a teacher like Diviaco who will tell you, you know, exactly what he thinks and he doesn't even hold back and, you know, he almost kind of wants to shock you in a way, but he still, you know, that's what he believes. And, you know, to me, that's a compliment. And I get accused of, you know, stretching beyond this line, this boundary you're not supposed to go over. He sort of likes to tease the students. He said that Snow White was a cock teasing whore or bitch or something. But he does it in a very impish sort of way, like he's a like he's a little bit of a troublemaker, you know what I mean? I was shown recently something on the internet called Two Girls, One Cup. Anybody see that? It is gross. It is gross. He's a little devious, okay? With a smile. And yeah, he might mention homosexuality and things like that, but that's who he is, you know, that's where he's coming from. I had sex with this guy, and then he showed me his bathroom. He says, you know, I like to bathe in my own urine. And I said, really? And so he shows me this closet in his bathroom. He's got these liters of, you know, these Coca-Cola bottles and, and what, they're seven up bottles or something, they're filled with urine. I love eccentricity. I love people who do things outside the mainstream. 